Hey guys, while I don't share them, hmm. Godwin of Basaki don't tell Adu Salami. He say a do PDP, no they sign peace accord because the ROEC is Mwike's cousin. So police commissioner is associate. So how they won't take sign peace accord when these people, you know, don't just ready, you know, to rig election for APC. Oh, kudos to Edo governor. The Edo state governor and the leader of the PD, uh, People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the state, Mr. Godwin Obasuke, has indicated that the PDP may not sign the peace accord today on the grounds that the agency, the police, responsible for enforcing the accord have through their actions shows that they are acting in the interest of the All Progressive Congress, APC, and waging war against the PDP. Obasaki spoke when he received the chairman of the National Peace Committee, NPC, and the former military head of state, General Abu Salami Abubakar, who was on a costly visit to the government house in Benin City. The Edo State Capital, ahead of the signing of the peace accord on September 12, 2024. Meanwhile, the chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP in Edo State, Dr. Anthony, raised an alarm over the deployment of associates of the former governor of River State and the minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, yes, on weekend to act as the Independent National Electoral Commission's resident electoral commissioner, that is the ROEC, in the state, and the Edo Commissioner of Police in the lead up to the September 21 governorship election. The governor had in his statement he personally signed on September 10, noted that since the commencement of the electronic process in the state, the steps taken by the police have shown that they are one-sided. During his interaction with Abubakar in Benin City, the governor expressed worry that the police under the manipulation of the APC has arrested not less than 10 PDP chieftains who they perceived would be strong political opposition to them in the coming election, including the seven chairman of Isan West uh, local government area, Honorable Collins, who was arrested and weeks to the Federal Capital Territory, FCT Abuja. He noted that upon learning of the council chairman's arrest, he reached out to the Edo State Commission of Police, asking that, due processes be followed and that the matter be handled within the state jurisdiction, a directive which was floated directly undermining his authority as the chief security officer, CSO, at the state. The governor also noted that the PDP chairman had also written two petitions to the IGP over the harassment of the party leaders, which has not been attended to. Obaseke, therefore, queried how one enters a peace accord with an umpire who from the onset has shown bias in favor of one of the parties in the election. So the governor also demanded the immediate or conditional release of the PDP chieftains who were arrested in Gastopo style by the police and weeks to or secret holding centers, uh, noting that if these PDP leaders were legally arrested, they should be charged to court in Benin City to answer for whatever infrastructures they are said to have committed. According to him, you are very conversant with the politics of Edo State. You were here in, 2000, in 2020 and we had a very heated election. You know this is an, an off-cycle election and there is a lot of uh, attention. Unlike 2022, I am very worried with the development in the state today. The party met yesterday and we might not likely sign this agreement. This is the first time we are witnessing that 
The person who is supposed to keep and enforce the peace accord is now an active participant in creating a destructive environment. The opposition party in, in, in the state, the APC, has always urged that they may not be as popular and did not win in the last election, but however, promised to use federal might to determine the outcome of the election. He added, we thought it is just rhetoric, but in the last few weeks, we have had a situation where the form where from the office of the IGP and gang policemen have come into a do state to invade, arrest, and take away PDP members. As we speak, there are 10 PDP members arrested and detained in Abuja without a trial. Two days ago, they came to pick up a local government chairman. The chairman was going back home and was attacked and shot at. We reported and the police asked him to come and give evidence. He came and was arrested. As I speak, he is in Abuja. Even if an offense has been committed in Edo State, why will you not charge the offense and try them here? In the state, why take them to Abuja? Are the offenses of high treason? Why not charge them to court? The IGP's office came in, issued a warrant to arrest 60 PDP supporters during driving all our leaders into hiding. My role as the chief security officer of the state is being made nonsense of by the IGP. I heard somebody was arrested and I called the commissioner to inform him and he said he will come back to me only to hear that he moved the person to Abuja. Tell me, sir, how can we sign a peace accord in this situation? Clearly, what they are saying is that it's going to be a violent election and that they are going to use the force of correction and intimidation to win elections in Edo State, whether we like it or not. That is the message. Now that the IGP is in turn, we say until everybody arrested is brought back to Edo and be tried here in Edo for whatever offenses they have committed, we have no confidence that the police will protect us in Edo State during the governorship election. On this part, the chairman of the PDP in Edo uh, said the party is raising dust over the involvement of Mwike's associates in the election because of the well-documented uh, disagreement between the Edo State Governor, Mr. Godwin Obasike, and the FCT Minister, Mwike, noting that the party thinks the involvement of the officials as a, a recipe for disaster, as they share close links with the minister and are uh, and, uh, want to do is bidding before, during, and after the elections. So the chairman noted that the Edo State Residence Electoral Commissioner, the ROEC, is um, Onora, who is a former special advisor on land to the FCT Minister, Nwike, why he served as governor. Adding that the Edo Commissioner of Police, CP, Nemi Edwin, Ewu, a close associate of the FCT Minister, was deployed to the state very a month ago. So guys, there is trouble. You see, the APC, they want all the states in Nigeria to be APC. You understand? So this is what they are fighting for. But they just have to be very careful. The way Tinubu is going, I don't understand. You just have to take this uh, uh, easy. Easy. You cannot make Nigeria a one-party state. It's not possible. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up.